and still clings to his life following the latest incident there Sunday morning. It seems difficult to relate to such a situation, but one Tupelo man can as he lives to tell about his near-death experience with the train. Terry Abernathy reports. It's, uh, it's changed my uh, whole personality. It seems like I, I care more about life now, and uh, I don't take it for granted like I used to. 41-year-old Rick Jolly says the collision with the train at this Belden community intersection in northwest Tupelo has changed his life. On June 20th of last year, Jolly was forced to use this little travel road, which doesn't have crossing lights, when nearby Envil Road, which has both lights and guardrails, was closed for repairs. Apparently not paying attention, his vehicle was struck by a train moving at approximately 50 miles per hour. They told me later that I got thrown out of the car about 40 feet into the bushes and uh it, it broke my leg and uh gave me a head concussion jolly has no memory of events two days before the accident the accident itself are the first two weeks of his recovery slowly his faculties have returned to near normal and the bouts of depression he once suffered have diminished his advice to others you always should stop at a train track no matter if the lights are flashing or not because you never know when the train's coming or not what goes through your mind um, when you come to a rail crossing now? I always thank God that I made it through the wreck. Fortunately, Jolly has been able to return to his job and resume playing music with a local rhythm and blues band. Terry Abernathy, WCBI News 4.